Hi guys, it's Tanya Lee here from Tanya Lee Designs. Um, I am here to do a video of um, a junk journal. Uh, this is uh, for my first month, um, which is June, um, on the design team for Tsunami Rose. Um, and also this um, album is, this junk journal is for a swap as well. I um, was doing a swap with Val and um, she, we decided to do a swap but then I made the team at Tsunami Rose and the papers and the colours and everything like that sort of went along with the journal that I was making for Val. So this is my first month design team junk journal for Tsunami Rose but it's also for the swap with Val. So Val this is your junk journal. Um, if you decide to watch um, then I hope you like it. Um, if you don't want to see it then um, maybe you might want to turn off your to, uh, stop watching the the video <laughs> but anyway so yeah the, like I said this is for Tsunami Rose um, design team and the kit that Daisy um, got us to all use was the hummingbird kit that she had designed which is um, very nice um, there is some color purples and stuff in it which I'm not a fan of but um, that's okay <laughs> Um, you have to do these things. Um, so yeah, I'll get into it. The journal is about seven inches this way and nine and three quarters this way and the spine is uh, two inches. Um, so the swap with Val we decided that we would do hardcover and we would do a fabric cover. So I've used this um, fabric on here and um, I just picked this up at the local um, whatever shop it's called they sell lots of different stuff not just fabrics but um yeah so um i bought this um and decided to do the cover with this um with the spine i um because i glued this onto the onto the chipboard um the glue dried under here and you could see through it so what i did is i um got a separate piece of the fabric um, and then I put another piece of fabric under it so that when I glued it you wouldn't see it um, So I did that but also did a, a pretty cool um, Just a zigzaggy stitch and a right round it just to give it a little bit of a pattern. So I did that um, So on the front I decorated it with some cheesecloth and an envelope and some book pages and some doilies and I took this image off the internet and um, I put some digital frames and digital overlays over the top just so it wasn't plain and blended in with the bits on the inside so um, yeah and also this envelope is um, a wee pocket um, that Val can journal on and then slip it back inside and I just sewed a bit of um, book paper on there as a wee tab so you can actually see there the closure is just some seam binding that I threw in my coffee mixture um, and it's using um, apparently Tim Holtz has these um, but I didn't get mine mine aren't Tim Holtz mine to be honest I don't even know where I got them from um, I don't think they were a particular brand um, so but yeah they're, they're exactly the same as his but anyway and then on the back I didn't have any eyelets suitable for this so I just put um, made a hole and put a brad through it and I'll show you on the inside and then there it's I just put one of those um, um, reinforces you know that you stick on your lined paper and then put it through so you can see it so I might cover that up I'm not 100% sure so yeah so that's the the album um, there's two signatures on the inside um, there's lots of sewing and lots of bits hanging out um, I um, got a sewing machine uh, from a friend and um, and then um, I just I needed to get it fixed because the tension 
wasn't right and stuff like that so um, I got it back and I've just been going mad with the sewing machine so anyway so we'll get into it so on the inside cover it's just some plain cotton fabric it's nothing you know um, fancy or anything like that so I've done this so we'll get into the first signature now through this journal as I said it's the kit the hummingbird kit from Tsunami Rose but also I've used my own range of products that I sell as well so um, I'll point out the Tsunami Rose stuff because it's for her design team but I'll just show you my stuff as well along the way and if I remember where I get anything from but it's probably pointless because I'm in New Zealand and um, a lot of people um, are overseas so um, <laughs> it's probably pointless me pointing things out so um, yeah but anyway we'll get into it so this was this was part of um, her kit um, lined paper which has got some grungy bits around it which I absolutely loved and so I've sewed around it inked I've inked pretty much most things in here um, and then up here I've just put some cheesecloth some book paper oh, actually that's actually a dictionary paper a wee word love that I made and this is one of my tiny Lee designs so over the page I've made a pocket actually before I go any further I'll just tell you my because what well, I wanted to do like a sort of a shabby chic slightly vintage style um, junk journal for Val um, and then when I made the team at Tsunami Rose I wanted to um, and saw that it was this it worked perfect because all the papers are sort of more of the white not a lot of color except for the picture um, the pictures on them so I thought it would work perfect and that's why I wanted to combine the two together um, but I didn't want to tea stain or coffee stain the papers because I wanted more of a white look to the paper except for maybe a bit of the inking around the edges and I thought well how am I going to do this I like the crinkly noise part of it you know um, and I thought well, I'm not going to get that if I just use plain white paper so I got my um, roasting tin out um, the tin foil ones that you can buy and I just put some cold water in it nothing else just plain water and then I dunked all my papers in the water and um, and then I put them in the oven to dry like you would if you were going to coffee stain or tea stain them and they came out like this exactly the same as the coffee and the tea but there's no color on it um, so I've actually called it water staining my papers and I know that sounds really dumb because you can't stain something with water um, but yeah <laughs> um, so that's what I did but because I used the same tray as the ones for my coffee or tea it gave it a wee tinge um, on some of the papers which was perfect because um, it was fine anyway because I was um, because I was um, putting a, some vintage photos um, ink around the edges of it anyway so um, it was fine but it's so it, it's more of a whitey stainy type paper rather than the coffee or the tea so I just wanted to point that out if you're wondering why it's so light um, but I liked that idea because it's um, it's more I think it's more along the lines of the shabby chic because I love shabby chic my bedrooms shabby chic I've got lots of stuff in my craft room that's shabby chic um, and yeah so I just I, and I, I just I love it I absolutely love it so I wanted to do white pages so that's how I got my white crinkly pages was just by sticking them in cold water um, so wetting the paper basically and then just drying it um, so I've got that nice nice feel so yeah so that's how I did that so um, yeah so I made up so the second page I made a pocket I just sewed two together um, and I know you all know 
what these are I'm new to junk journaling and some of you guys aren't so you'll know all this um, but yeah so this is um, the envelope an envelope that was part of the kit um, and just one of her inserts for that envelope so I've inked around the edges of all of them um, so that just whoops and then I just made some tags and that just oops and I've got that wrong how did I do that no <laughs> so I've just got one of the wee Tim Holtz um, clips on there I like the little ones um, rather than the big ones but um, that's okay so that's just on there sitting there like that and that's just tucked in there that she can that Val can do whatever with now here is a wee, an envelope that I've sewn some lace down, put one of my Italian designs on it. So that's just an, another like little tuck spot that she can um, put some bits in if she wants to. And another one of the like the front pages, but I've shrunk it down and put it onto some card, backed it, and put it in here for her. With the papers, I st this one's not done it, but um, this this one I think this one I wanted all the pages to be the staining you know like the the crunchy thing and everything like that and I thought well with my printer I can't ink stuff I can't print stuff and then coffee dye it or whatever or stick it in the water or whatever because it all runs so I tr I did the the water thing first and then I put it through the printer and I got a few but then my printer started to, to act a bit spazzy because it was crinkled paper trying to go through and it sounded really weird and then it chewed up my paper. So so I changed that idea. So I've got a few through the book, through the journal that are um, done the crinkly way and some that aren't because it didn't work. So this one's just plain, but that's okay. And I've just sewn two back to back um, rather than having... I know I've wasted paper, I could have printed on the back as well, but um, I just printed all my papers out and then I decided that I wanted to back them together, so I've just sewn them rather than waste them and print them out again. So so that's just um, two different ones, there's a lined one and this is a checkered one, so um, yeah I've done that. And I've inked around it, here I've got some vellum with some tissue uh, pattern, you know like sewing pattern papers. So there's, and there's lots of um, plain, plain pages that um, Val can put her um, pictures or do some journaling or what have you in here. This page here, I've got a wee tuck spot that I've made out of some um, book pages um, and just sew on some, um, it's like tissue paper or like um, lunch paper, baking paper, that type of thing on here. This here is a um, Kaisercraft crocheted frame that I put a, one of the hummingbirds in, put one of my words here and then in the pocket that's one of the pages that I've shrunk down, printed on card that she can write on, it's one of the postcards from the kit and this is one of my tiny designs that um, it's a postcard and you can write on here and write on the back and I've just put some other bits and pieces on there some tickets and some more of my designs and some lace and some bling just pop that in there that's another one of the pages from the kit with some book page tab up there another one of the kit this is some tissue paper I don't think it's actually tissue paper as in what we think tissue paper is. It's actually the sheets that came between the acetate that I bought, the overhead projector, clear plastic stuff. Okay, sorry about that guys. Um, my camera started beeping at me and said I'd run out of space so I just deleted a few things off it that I'd already uploaded to my computer. So sorry about that. So anyway, as I was saying, yeah, this is um, like the tissue paper that comes between the acetate sheets, you know, like overhead projector stuff, plastic sheeting stuff that you can use for shaker cards or whatever. Um, it came between, you know, every time you bought one it came with a sheet of this. So I just cut this up and added it in as a, just a, slight, a, a little bit of an extra texture, I suppose, to the pages. So I did that. 
plain paper another corner spot which I've put a wee frame in one of my words and another one of the um, hummingbirds from the kit postcard from the kit this is a telegram from the kit in there and this is just a wee envelope that I, I bought from somewhere um, that I've just popped in there as well uh, another envelope this one's got nothing in it um, but it's from the kit and I've just hung some tags off a wee clip as well this paper here I don't know what it is but it, it was on a pad that I got from the bookshop a few holes in there that you could chuck in your binder type thing um, so put that in there as well this is a vintage um, index card that I brought a whole heap off um, a auction site here in New Zealand um, I got them reasonably cheap the postage was more than the actual item because it was heavy but so what I've done is I fold them half because they're large and the other half's in here somewhere and this side is just some um, patterned you know dressmaking patterned tissue paper a doily and then I've made a, a, um, a tag um, that opens that she can write in as well it's just got one um, this hummingbird I took off the internet um, and just decorated it with a few bits and pieces and put one of Tim Holt's little clips up here just to keep it close so it doesn't flick open and some tags on the other side I stuck some doilies on it and um, some lace and bits and pieces and then what I did here was um, it's an envelope um, so what I did is I cut the envelope in half and then switched, switched sides so that this was the middle of the envelope because I didn't want the opening to come out here I wanted it to come out here so yeah so just you know cut it in half and then switch them over so um so in here is just one of my my designs I'll put a wee um, book page tab on the side that can journaling can go on that side and then just decorated the front with a couple of my designs as well some vellum some clear paper some more tissue paper um here i made the center of the signature as the couple of the pages from the kit um, I put some lace down the middle um, this is the middle of the well you know where you tie it I've got some hearts here so then on each side of this I've sewn in a piece of lined book paper this is a tuck spot here and here that can be used um, and then there's just a couple of plain tags in each tag uh, in each pocket that can be used and I've just sewn some lace I did a lot of sewing on the papers and everything like that before I um, put it all together um, like I sewed the lace on here and then I sewed the flaps down like that and then I glued it in because I didn't want to see the stitching on this in, in the middle so so that's that and, and all the um, ink around it is vintage photo as well some more of that tissue paper some plain paper here on this side is another tuck spot now none of my tuck spots flip up um, I didn't do that um, I, I think there's an, enough journaling bits paper and extra tags and and bits and pieces to journal on without having the flip ups so they, they don't flip up at all in this pocket here this is um oh no it's not this one's just a plain bird i got a plain thing this one i got off the internet and i like the front cover i put some overlays and some um frames around them backed it with some of my coffee paper that i did sewed it so that's a journaling spot as well i guess if you want to this is just some ephemera that I've cut up. I'm, I don't know. I think this one might be off the internet. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on it. I like doing the ripped thing so it does look old. This is just another one of those envelopes like before. So that's tucked in there. 
some more vellum this is the other side of that index card so I've got the other um, envelope on this side it's the same on the front with a couple of my designs and some book paper and stuff like that on the other side and on the inside of this one I made a little booklet um, this is one of the um, pages uh, sorry one of the sorry hang on a sec I've got a plaster on my thumb and it keeps coming off um, this is one of the inserts for the envelopes um, and I shrunk it right down to a 3x4 card I think it's roughly about a 3x4 card and put some um, pages in it that can be journaled on so that's just a wee booklet so I've just tucked that inside that wee envelope some more of that paper this is another um, envelope that I did like the same but this one's actually sewn in um, and this is a wee tuck spot here it's just some ephemera I think this is this one's tsunami rose this is just a wee envelope I've made out of a book book paper and put some string around it and stuff like that so that's just tucked in there that there's a prima I don't know what they are but it's like a, a f oh no, I, I don't know what sort of fabric is that and then it's got the crochet around the edge but that is part of prima's um, range that's that there so like I said this one's um, stuck in um, and the other side is this flips open and it has um, a postcard from the kit inside it. I've seen the, how people do this on their junk journals and I really like that idea so um, I wanted to incorporate that into this so I did that. This is one of the pages too and I've stuck some of the dress pattern paper behind it, cut it out, inked it, stuck it on the page and just a couple of my words down the bottom. Plain tissue paper, part of the kit paper. This is another corner. Um, this is another corner tuck spot, sorry. Um, one of my designs, bits and pieces, lace, um, muslin, that sort of stuff. On the inside of it, we've got another one of the book page, um, one of the pages from the kit, shrunk down on, printed on um, cardstock. This is a, um, what do you call it? Project Life, um, Project Life, four by four journal card and I've just ripped some of the fabric that I used on the front cover and I've put a safety pin in there that I've actually um, rusted so that's in there for Val as well and this is a wee book that I've made um, this time the string and the hearts are on the outside of the book and on the front cover there's another image from um, from the internet of um, a hummingbird and um, one of my tabs, some book pages, some lace and you open it up and there's pages on the inside as well you can put photos and bits and pieces in and I made the front cover and the back cover out of my designs as well so. um, blank page, vellum, some tissue pattern paper part of the kit I've sewn together this one's just plain it didn't, um, yeah just plain paper that I've printed it on and sewn it together and the last page of the first signature is a pocket and um, I've covered the front of the pocket with lace and trims and muslin and stuff like that and then on the inside is another one of the envelopes from the kit with the booklet thing on the inside and some tags hanging off that that bell can use so that's just sitting in there and then on the back is just one of the book pages again with the lines on it so she can do whatever on the back of there and then in the center down the center here the lace that I've used throughout the book is um, a vintage lace that I have um, that I managed to score on off trade me and I just stuck it down there so it didn't look so plain I don't know if you can see that but yeah 
so that was just doing that rather than having plain down the center so the second signature is um, again the same as the front well different picture but same idea some book paper uh, some mum um, of the kit sorry pages from the kit plain here's another pocket um, with another one of the pages that have shrunk down and printed on card as a journaling spot just did some decoration here with some of my designs and in here I've made um, a, file, a mini file folder with some bits on the front this is a tea bag um, these are actually going to be in on my website soon so are the file folders um, I've put some of the little hearts on the end of the string for the tea bag um, and the tea bag I haven't pulled shut because I thought that um, when Val gets it she can um, then if she wishes to put a note in there or something in there then she can and then on the inside is one of my designs and then also just some paper single pieces of little paper that I've tucked in there that she can write on if she wishes so that's just tucked in there some vellum some tissue some plain paper another corner tuck spot with another one of those um, Kaiser Craft crocheted rings this is um, a long one that I've printed off the internet this is um, some hummingbirds and once again I've put I took this off the internet and I put a digital frame around it backed it with some tissue paper sewed it slipped it in there and then just some more ephemera from tsunami robes part of the book uh, so, sorry part of the kit again pages some more of that white paper plain some more of the pages from the kit with some book paper tab up there some tissue another corner tuck spot with one of my designs and one of my words this is from the kit it's a postcard or an envelope an envelope by the front of an envelope by the looks of it um, another telegram from the kit And this is one of some army roses um, ephemera as well. So that's just tucked in there just for something a little extra. Here's another one of the um, index cards that I have done. I've put some doily on this one. Um, I've decorated the front of it again with some of my designs. And this one I've left empty that she can put whatever she wants in there. Some more lined paper, some plain paper, some vellum. So here again we're at the middle of the signature and I've done the same as what I did in the first signature where I've put some lace down the middle, I've put some hearts on the end of the strings and on each side I've made a pocket. And in this one is two plain tags and on the other side is some ephemera from Tsunami Rose and another Project Life 4x4 card journaling card with um, some of the fabric from the outside and one of my rusted pins again some vellum another plain piece of paper on the other side is another tuck spot this one I this is the envelope and I've printed it onto like graphic paper um, and it, it, it works really well because the graphic paper is green but then there's lots of green in the picture so it actually looks really cool and even my 20 year old son who thinks scrapbooking and all this sort of stuff is boring um, I was showing him because I listened <laughs> as he calls it he listens to my crap so I have to listen to his crap so <laughs> he was um, I was showing him this and he actually said that he really liked this one it was really cool so it's like wow <laughs> um, and it's got the thing on the inside as well so that's that one <laughs> And then this here is just a wee saying um, that I picked off Pinterest, um, cut it out, inked it, backed it, sewed it, so that's in there about hummingbirds. Another one of my designs with, like I did at the front, so it's the same as the front one. Some lined paper, and there's the index card again, same, with bits on the front, and then I've made another um, envelope with book paper and stuck it inside here for Val 
um, some plain paper, some tissue paper, some of the kit paper, um, a tuck spot that I've left empty with some tags on the front. Paper, um, plain paper, this is some of the other paper, some of the kit. This is the things to do list again, which I've done the same as the um, the, the first signature, backed it with the pattern tissue paper, inked it, stuck it on. Tissue paper, vellum, and another t um, pocket and a tuck spot with my designs and Tsunami Rose ephemera. Oopsie. And another one of the Project Life's 4x4 cards with the rusted pin and the pack of fabric. Plain and then the paper from the kit. Um, a wee page, um, book page tab there with some tags hanging off a, a wee um, Tim Holtz pin up the top. And then the back page is the same again with the, is the front and the back of the first signature. And that's the end of it. So yeah, um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, just leave them in the comments below. Um, I would love to hear what you think. Um, I really enjoyed making this. Um, it took a lot of time, um, and but it was so exciting to finish it. And um, for you know my time for this month on the design team, and then also to send out to Val as a swap for her. So um, yeah, so pop over and have a look. Um, Tsunami Rose, she has Daisy has a lot of kits available on her Etsy store. Um, I will put her link down below so you can have a look um, so go check her out her kits are actually quite reasonable um, pro reasonably priced um, so yeah just go have a look um, if you're into making junk journals or what have you and you want um, some lovely kits go and check hers out because she's got some really cool ones um, and actually my very first junk journal that I made which is um, a, a couple of videos back on my channel um, was using one of um, Daisy's kits uh, and next month for July um, I'm really looking forward to because it's um, the kit that I'm using is very pastel and stuff so I'm really looking forward to that one so um, yeah so anyway thank you for watching and um i know this is a super long um video but sometimes they are when you are doing a junk journal excuse me but um but yeah go check out tsunami rose um and check out tsunami rose on facebook as well because you'll get to see um some of the other um girls um what they've done as their um, junk journal for their time on this month for the design team so yeah so anyway um i will be back soon with something else okay bye